guys, so today I'm doing a thrift haul. I'm so excited to film this video. I really wanted to film it yesterday, but I just didn't have enough time um, in the day. And yeah, I went to the thrift store yesterday with the sole intention of getting high-waisted jeans to make some shorts, and I ended up like in the first 10 minutes having like a handful of stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is actually the last thing I think that I picked up. And I saw this on the way out, and I just kind of felt like I had to get it. Um, it's definitely a grandma shirt, but I feel like the silhouette that's in style right now is grandma shirts. Those are like the style. I don't know if that makes any sense. This is what the shirt looks like. It's like an orange, like a salmon, um, red, pink, um, and black color block sort of shirt. And I just really, really liked it. I like the high neckline. I like the heaviness of it and the boxiness of it. Um, it is like a sweater and I'm pretty positive it probably initially came with a matching cardigan but luckily the cardigan was nowhere to be seen so i just picked up the sweater vest thing and yeah i just really like it on i think with a statement necklace or like gold jewelry it would look really really cute in the spring and summer the next thing i got is definitely a grandma shirt it's just so obvious but the way this fits which you'll see in the cutaway it just it fits so well that i feel like it could be a really dressy shirt like you could wear it with some nice black jeans and some like really cute chic shoes and make it work. The next grandma shirt I got was this one. It's pretty much the same thing, but it's a little bit um, looser. It's more of like a stretchy, grainy, like that sort of grandma material. And the sleeves are not quite as um, like long, I guess, but it's like a, just a t-shirt, but it's really um, like droopy, but it's really boxy and it's just a really nice deep, um, like forest green color and I thought it would look really cute with a skater skirt or some type of high-waisted skirt or shorts or something and then the last one I got which I feel like oh this is what I've been looking for forever I've really been wanting like a chiffon t-shirt and I couldn't ever find one and I got this one at the thrift store and it's got super long drop sleeves a really really high neckline it has like a keyhole back and then yeah it's just a big boxy black shirt um, this shoulders are kind of wide and it is sort of like shoulder pad action going on like there's no padding in there but it's just really structured but i feel like with my big statement like bubble necklace the big blue one i think this would look so cute like tucked into jeans i'm just ugh, i was so happy to find it and then i did get a pair of jeans um i got ended up getting these i don't have any light wash um denim whatsoever none like this light so i got these um light wash jeans they're from originally from Land's End, which I know is a really, really expensive brand. So I was really, really happy to get these. These were $5, but I feel like for the quality that I'm getting, they're really, really nice. I like them because they don't have anything on the butts. I hate like embroidered pockets. I don't know why, I just do not like them. The only ones I do like are Levi's because they're kind of like classic and timeless. And yeah, um, I'm going to cut them into shorts. I haven't cut them into shorts yet. And the next thing that I got was this little check skirt and I saw it and immediately was like, this is so on trend right now, I need to buy this. It's funny because when you go to the thrift store, you end up buying things that were once in style and then went out of style, but have now come back into style, if that makes sense. So this kind of made the full loop and now it is back in style and it's just a high-waisted, sort of structured, but very linen-y feeling, um, like checkered skirt. It's almost like houndstooth, but it's like houndstooth and checkered mixed. It is a guest brand, um, skirts and the only thing I don't like about it is that it has the little like guest jeans um, logo right here but I feel like it adds to the preppiness so maybe I can wear it with like a white t-shirt and some um, like boat shoes or something and make it really preppy or I could just you know get a scene pick and just take it off but um, for now I'm probably just gonna leave it on there um, but yeah I got this and it just has like two buttons in the back and it zips and it's just really really fitted and I like it a lot and then the last like clothing piece I got I am so excited about. I saw it and was just like, eh, I'll try it on. And it's just this floral, like, rosy um, skirt. I was, you know, looking at it and I was like, all right, it looks like it might fit a little weird because it's kind of tight up at the top and then flare out and be really long. And I was like, oh, I don't know. And then I tried it on and as I was putting my legs in, they like, they were smushed and I'm like, what is stuck to my leg? And then I realized this is not a skirt. These are shorts. How freaking awesome is that? It comes up really high, so if I wear a bralette with it, it won't really show much midriff, if any, at all. So I really, really love this, and I was so, so happy that, you know, it fit me and that it ended up being shorts. Like, that's just so awesome. So I'm really excited to wear this for spring and summer. 
The next thing I got was just a necklace. Um, there was actually two of them, and I kind of wish I'd gotten the other one, but when I asked her how much they were, she said they were a dollar a piece, and I just didn't feel like they were worth a dollar, plus the other one was kind of broken, and I was like, if this breaks, it's just not going to be worth it. So it's this necklace right here. It's just a really dainty, like, metal beaded bracelet, or necklace, sorry, and it has these turquoise, um, like, stones on them, but it looks like something's missing in the middle. Obviously, something is missing. There's, like, two beads, but nothing there. And the other necklace was kind of the same um, beading, but then in the center there was just a little turquoise bird. So I kind of wish I'd gotten the other one, but I just couldn't justify buying it for a dollar, like a whole dollar. Because if I would have just ditched these necklaces, I could have gotten like another skirt or sh pair of um, shorts or something. So I was like, eh, I'll just get this one and then I'll, you know, find something to put on there. Um, but I just think it's cute and dainty and it, it's going to be nice for layering, I think, maybe. Maybe if I go back and the other necklace is still there, I'll buy it. I don't know. But I just got that for a dollar. And then the very last thing that I got was pretty much a steal, um, except for the fact that they are a size too big. But I'm going to make them work because you guys know that's how I do. I will MacGyver it. So um, the thing that I got are these sandals. And these just stood out to me because I kind of always browse through the shoes, but I don't ever expect to really find anything. Because mostly the things are like tacky, like 90s or 80s shoes. And you're just like, no. No, and I saw these and I was like, you know what, these actually look like they'd be really in style right now. They've got like, um, not a super tall heel and it's sort of chunky, but it's not. And then it's got like the straps and then, um, you know, it goes around the ankle. And I was like, these just look like really kind of, um, you know, in style shoes. And they look like they would fit. And I tried them on and they do have a little bit of extra room over here in the back and my foot kind of slides forward. But I think I'm going to just put a padding here so that my foot kind of stays up towards this end because I'd rather there be extra room here. Um, so I was looking at them and I was like, all right, well, let me see how much the shoes are. Shoes are $2, so I got these for $2. And um, yeah, I checked the size and I was like, oh, they're 10. And I was like, oh, they're kind of worth it. And then I looked at the label and I realized that they were Banana Republic shoes. What? I was like, I'm getting a pair of Banana Republic genuine leather strappy heels for $2. That is awesome so I was like I don't even care if these are freaking 12 I'm gonna buy them so I bought them and I'm gonna make them work they're so cute they, I just think they're gonna look so cute with like shorts and a nice shirt or um, like a dress or something oh they're just so cute I'm so happy that I got these so that's everything I hope you guys like this thrift haul if you don't like thrifting just give it a shot honestly <sighs> thrifting can be so rewarding you're just like I spent $20 and I got a pair of Banana Republic shoes with you can get crazy stuff you can make your own DIY shorts like there's just so many things that you can get from the thrift store that you just can't get from a normal store for the same prices I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some inspiration and yeah have a great day bye if you like this video don't forget to thumbs up and also subscribe so you can be notified when I put out new videos and definitely check out my last one which was my third outfit of the week